This is a Volkswagen GTI 2015. And many of the recent model of the Volkswagen and other cars uh, made by the Volkswagen AG uh, sometimes have the sensor and its connector shapes looks like this. And replacing the sensors, for example, in this cases, this is the the camshaft position sensor uh, for the exhaust. Uh, so replacing this sensor meaning is you need to disconnect or disengage the connectors. And the connector shapes look like this. There's a white plastic tab and uh, locking the sensors. And how to disengage, how to disconnect, there is there are not much documentations over the internet. And this is the sensors for the camshaft intake right here. Right here. It is a, it is sensor looks the same with the white tag, white plastic tag on the top. So both of them, if replacing them, require disconnect the connector with the sensor. So it can be challenging if you don't know how. Okay, so in order to replace the camshaft position sensor in this instance, some other sensor may use the same connector. And I see on uh, uh, over the over the over the internet, uh, people try to disconnect the connector with the sensor. I use all kinds of the different uh, different method, and sometimes I using tools, as that could be uh, risking uh, the damage the sensor, uh, the connector, the connector. So uh, I don't want to try something I don't know. So therefore, to be on the safe side. I bought a sensor and also the connector. And then supposed to be the connector and the sensor and in the car it's locked. Like this. Okay, right. So now supposed to be if you want to disconnect the sensor and the connector and how to do that. And uh, so therefore then because I purchased the connector and the sensors so therefore I can study the the structures the mechanism how this works and what is a proper way and to disconnect the sensor with uh, with the connector okay so appear to be um, there is a little tab here that connector locking into the sensor so this is what you normally see when it is in the car so now if you want to disconnect it and uh, you got to be don't use any tools at least I don't use any tools just very important part is be nice and easy and don't do not never use any force because these are all plastic and can be fragile okay so to do that and simply gently pull this white tag in this case is a gray one but the white tag towards the outside, the other way, gently pull, okay, right, okay, so when you pull out, right, and then how, then don't pull, not yet, uh, gently push this white tag a little bit down, and then don't pull this white tag, and because there are two, this is the, the, black, the black edge, so therefore the black edge is a solid set. Uh, that, that's part of the connector so while pushing down a little bit gently pushing down the white tag and then pull the black tag and then you can wiggle this out and then you have disengage or disconnect the connector with the sensor so here it looks like the mechanism is during the locking and then you see the click and then you using this white tag push all the way down and to secure 
So when you want to disconnect, pull this Y tag outwards. And again, never use force and be nice and easy and gentle. And then gently, nicely, easily press down the Y tag. And while you pull a little bit, do not use force also, the, the black edge of the connector and to disengage. And here, let's study how this, the mechanism is. So this is a Y tag. If you push all the way down, you cannot push, right? So since there is not connected, the Y tag, you cannot push. Just only, you can only push when the connector is connecting with the sensor and the locking with it. So when you are actually, so the Y tag, when you push down the Y tag, it tilts up a little bit, right? So therefore, uh, disengage the edge, right? And disengage this particular edge is on the sensor, okay? Right, so this, and to connect, you just line it up and push the black edge until you hear the click, okay, right? And then, then you using the white tag and push inside and gently and then until the white tag is in line with the black edge of the connector. And hope that's helpful. And if this information is helpful, and please click the like it buttons on the YouTube. Thank you so much.